Our research spans the humanities, social and natural sciences including engineering, business, law and medicine. Our marine research is organised into nine interdisciplinary themes which engage a wide range of partners locally, regionally and across the world oceans. Together we work to shape positive change in practice, policy and innovation in the marine realm. So I think there's three things that make the University of Exeter a centre of excellence in marine research. The people, the place and the global network. It's very clear walking around the University of Exeter that uh, marine research is very much what we do. If you can think about it, we're doing it in relation to the marine and that's really, really exciting. We have a truly inter an internationally renowned uh, group of people who work uh, within the university. The university has really quite permeable boundaries between dis different disciplines. Bringing a unique blend of expertise. So it allows you to take this sort of holistic approach to marine research. So we have people studying all kinds of animals around the world in a huge amount of different ways using different technologies. With those researchers they've brought a, a huge global network and that allows our research to achieve a really global impact. Uh, we also work over multiple fields. Um, so everything from marine social science, from humanities, um, history, law, all the way through to ecology, fisheries, and then large scale physical and chemical processes in the ocean. And together we can come up with ideas that are far beyond what we would do on our own. And really trying to find on the ground solutions um, so that we can have healthy marine environments going into the future. We have this global reach. We go from single cells all the way up to global models. And you can feel this collaborative uh, spirit. That diversity of disciplines really brings to bear a huge amount of power. It gives me access to marine systems and the marine systems are quite exciting. We study some of the most endangered species around the planet and we try to involve the public in our research to save these species. Um, an impact upon policy and management and I think that's really a key strength. In part because of where it's located. Setting really inspires oceanographic research. The Cornish coastline is just exemplary for being in marine research and it's what inspired me, I suppose, at the beginning in order to do this. The proximity of Exeter to the coast and the history of scientific research connected with the maritime that's taken, taken place along the South Devon coast, for instance, provides me with a wonderful context in which to situate contemporary research findings. We've had this uh, lab made available to us so we can carry out post-water examinations. Well, one of the facilities that we have here on our Streatham campus that really facilitates fantastic research is our research aquarium. That allows us to do both marine and freshwater lab-based research at a very detailed level under extremely controlled conditions and it probably is the best in the UK. We also have a broad community in genomics and the genomics facility that um, includes state-of-the-art instruments. I have access to the microbiology labs at the Environment and Sustainability Institute on Penryn campus and the Exeter sequencing service. For me it's about the people. The marine research community at Exeter is like a big family of motivated and passionate people who support each other to achieve their goals both professionally and personally. A really positive environment to be working in. And, and so much of the research in an interdisciplinary sense is, is really reaching out to the marine environment both locally but also globally. There's a lot of activities that we've been involved in just lately. What Exeter Marine achieves is it brings them together to create some kind of combined voice and some research synergy that means uh, we can't be far off being one of the greatest places in the world to do marine research.